Okay, yeah, I'll meet you at the top of the mountain. All right, here we go. Hey, go, go up! Good thing we got a warranty on that couch. Hey -o. All right, this video is not about terrible special effects, but it's about this little thing here, the Raspberry Pi computer. It's a credit card size computer. I do a lot of projects with the Raspberry Pi, and one of the problems I always run into is that there's not a power button. There's no reset button or restart. You can add one, but I'm not very good with hardware, so I found a company that actually did one for you. This company called Nest Pi actually makes a case with a power button that is in the shape of the Nintendo Entertainment System. It comes in this cool box that looks just like the NES. Uh, I just want to pop it open for you guys and show you what it's like. In here, pop it open, and there is a small instruction manual and then this teeny tiny little case. Look at this thing. Let me see if I can... Uh... So it looks just like the NES and it opens up in the front. Here in the front, looks like you have an ethernet port and two USB ports where you'd have your controllers. And then there's an additional two here that in reality, that's probably where you want to have your controllers. And there's a power button and a reset button. Uh, also, you can see they have like a storage container, which I thought was really cool, where you can store your SD card here in the bottom. So I guess if you have like several games or you have different emulators that you want to attach to here, you can keep them right here with the case. And this looks just like the Nintendo Entertainment System. If any of you guys have actually had that, you're old enough to know what this is. This is a pretty good replica. And on the back here, we have a uh, uh, power output or power input here, here, I guess, depending. And then there's an HDMI port right here. Get that bad, more in focus. Um, an HDMI port so that you can actually plug this into a screen. So when you pop open the case, it says, please remove the SD card before installing the Raspberry Pi. So, I have my Raspberry Pi here. I'm gonna pop out the little micro SD card before I do this. And so it's pretty cool. The package comes with what appears to be four or six screws, and then it comes with a little screwdriver case. So that's pretty awesome. So I brought one of my own, but it's nice that they gave you another one. And to show you the guts of the insides of this thing, here's the front. When you turn it up, you can see that these are the circuit boards here for uh, Ethernet and USB and then they have the connectors right here and even there's the Ethernet connector and the USB connector So it's really just kind of like a USB hub um, or a network type card that they've put in here Probably not a network card, but you have the drift. So So it looks like we're gonna pop the Raspberry Pi right in here somehow so Play along with me. I don't know my guess is going to be we're going to want to line up the HDMI port here in the power port with the HDMI and the power port here on the back. Just trying to use some of these clues here. It looks like this should rest pretty easily. And they even have these little mounting screws here. You can mount the Raspberry Pi to the Nest Pi. So let's check this out. I'll try and show you what I'm actually doing here. This is a behind the scenes look about how you do this stuff. Everybody else just resets. I give you some terrible views. So here is the Raspberry Pi. And they give you this little baggie here. And a number of screws. I'm gonna pop this in here and mount these. I missed this before, but there is this tiny little slot right here which is where you put your mini SD card. That's probably why they wanted you to put that in after because if you click it in here, you'd probably break the SD card in half. And so you have four USB ports here on the Raspberry Pi and you don't lose them. By plugging them into here, you have the two extra ones that are in the lid and then there's these two here for the remote controller. So you don't have to worry that you're covering up the USB ports. Okay, it appears we're done here. Fits in this nice little package. This is my SD card. Um, like I said, you can flip these up and plug in some kind of controller if you had one. So this is actually just a Logitech gamepad. So you'd be able just to plug it in just like this. It's pretty cool. It looks just like a tiny miniature Nintendo. I understand that you can buy these, right? You can pay 50 bucks or whatever it is to get your own, but 
It's way cooler, dude, to make your own, and you can put whatever ROMs you want on it, so any games you want, because I think there's like a fine itemite. <laughs> that was not English. There's a fine item out when you purchase one of these in the store, when you make it yourself, for your own personal use, purchasing these ROMs legally, you can put whatever you want on the, uh, on the Raspberry Pi. And so I keep saying emulator and, and ROM and not really describing anything. I was using this as RetroPie, and RetroPie is a way to emulate video game system. So particularly, I have like NES and some Nintendo 64 games on my SD card here, my Raspberry Pi. So we're gonna plug this in and, uh, and see how it works and see if the box actually works and uh, maybe play some games. So I already have my HDMI and my power cable staged here. So like I showed you, there is an HDMI port in the back. This is like Nintendo back in the day when you used to have that like screw in thing for the cable, if anybody remembers that. And you had like one that screwed into Nintendo and then like the cable for your cable TV also screwed in so that you didn't have to keep taking things on and off. So just to show you if this is working or not, I have like a little monitor that I've mounted here so you can see if it works. So we have the Raspberry Pi here, little station, and we're gonna plug the power in. All right, so no LED indicator yet but I have not pressed the power button. So this is truly a, a test run right here. Okay, it's a devastating failure. Uh, there's no power. Let's troubleshoot here. What do we got? Uh, plugged in. There was some safe switch that I switched off. Now I'm wishing that I didn't screw all these things in. So I'm gonna unplug the power really quick and just take the top off. I don't know if you can see here, there's like, in number three here, they indicate that there's a safe shutdown switch. It's defaulted to off. I turned it on. Now, before we uh, put the case back on, let's do another trial run of this. And like I said, there's this safety s shutdown switch that I switched on. Hey, look at that. Can you see the light? So let's see what the story is here. Still no signal to my, uh... Ha! Well, you know what? They told you to take the SD card out, which you've probably been maybe seeing the entire time. And I, uh, I didn't put it in, like an idiot. Now, let's check it out. So, hit the power button. We should get RetroPie up there. Come on. Hey, there we go, RetroPie. So RetroPie is something that's been created, like I said, in order to emulate video games. So using like a regular PC or control that works with Linux, you can create your own video game system. So you've seen people do these, they like made Raspberry Pi uh, into a video game system by putting it into an Altoid case, which I thought was really cool. This is just another one of the ways that you can kind of like case up the Raspberry Pi, and this actually gives some extra features. So what I've done here is I've got my own emulator, which has Nintendo 64, Nintendo, and so you can go here and, you know, play some of the games from your childhood. One of my all-time favorites and most difficult, this might seem weird, but it is The Addams Family, if you've ever played that. You don't want to sit here the entire time while I, I just look for these games. That wouldn't be a fun video. It's not interesting. Here we go. Adam's Family Pugsley Scavenger Hunt. I just like the regular one. Loads. There we go. So, it works. Fantastic. That was a long drawn out sort of like unboxing of this Nest Pie case. It looks really cool. There's a power button, reset button. So you can see right here, power button's going. Let's just to show you if we reset it, if that works. So the reset button actually reboots, it would appear. Definitely does. And when you hit the power button, it turns it off. So that is like hugely helpful. Um, I think I have to go in there and just make sure that I have the correct scripts on the Raspberry Pi so that I don't like burn my card every time I, I like you know turn it on and off because you can fry your SD card if you just cut the power immediately so 
I thought this was pretty cool. I was looking for something that I could, I could carry my Raspberry Pi in. You've seen these other traditional cases that a lot of people have. This is just a clear Raspberry Pi case. This is great too. I mean, it's fine, but it doesn't do anything except protect your Raspberry Pi. Uh, well, if you like more of these Raspberry Pi videos and you want to see more and you want to see me fail as I try to put these projects together, please comment below. Let me know what you like. And as always, what do you do? As always, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, ring the bell, tap like. I'll see you guys later.